Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. <laughs> hey! Congrats, FNAF, on being progressive. Five nights at Freddy's. Is this who you want to be? I just don't get it. Why is the movie mid? Movie's kind of mid, I ain't gonna lie. Five Nights at Freddy's is an amazing video game movie, but a very, very bad horror movie. This movie I've been waiting to come out for quite a while just to see how he would translate it into an actual movie. I thought he was actually gonna give it a lot of substance, a lot of flavor, and actually go deep into the horror aspects of this movie, this uh, franchise he's built. But sadly, that didn't happen. This movie is very much a love letter to fans, or at least if you read the books, or if you like, you're not a newer fan per se, because the older fans, all, even the older fans, I, I don't think we got all of our questions answered, because, you know, he was planning on a sequel instead of like making a good standalone. I think this movie is good for what it is, and it has a lot of good references. I was smiling throughout majority of the movie, and like, sort of intrigued about some of the answers that were being given if and if you can call them answers <laughs> i think it's an absolute treat for fans and this is also a problem i need to talk about because i feel fnaf it used to be very horror related and very dark and like scary like scary but like you know psychological the original story is about five kids being lured in by this man and killed and stuffed in the suits which i think was very dark very creepy very scary but in recent years fnaf really hasn't shown that it's become this sort of mascot horror and um i can't say i like it too much ever since like fnaf world i think Scott has made it very clear he wants it to be like kid friendly, like PG-13, able to bring a kid audience and have them purchase all these FNAF toys and everything like that. And it sucks to see the movie really get hurt by that ideology. There's actually a lot of surprising moments, and there is some gore in the movie, which I was very surprised at. Like the PG-13 rating, they kind of push the limits of it, which I'm very appreciative of, but it's just not a good horror movie it's so alienating to people who are newer to the franchise and also it's just like it doesn't really create a story majority of the characters you see in this movie don't really get fleshed out at all and you had two hours to do it you had double the runtime of most movies and most movies are able to do that within like 30, 40, 50 minutes. The problem with FNAF is that like, you have to kind of know who these characters are in order to get any value or understand their motives, their intentions. Like the only character I think is like genuinely a uh, decently written character is probably the main character, maybe Mike. I really like the relationship between Mike and Abby. I think it's extremely cute, but the rest of the characters, we're at a loss at what they actually are or how meaningful they are to the story. Think a character like Vanessa, for example. She is said to be William Afton's daughter, but do we actually know what that means? Does the newer audience know what that means? She's supposed to be an important character, right? But the thing is, nobody really knows what the fuck she does besides being a police officer and being kind of nice to Ma Mike and Abby. Also, throughout the story, William Afton is obviously hinted to be the killer. It's just that, like, why isn't he on the screen for majority of the movie? Like, you're hyping up this big character, this big character reveal, but, like they aren't doing anything like majority of this movie is just nothing but setting up another movie majority of the movie is our main character mike dreaming and not really doing anything he's in the pizzeria but what does that matter nothing's really happening and when abby starts to visit the pizzeria and then things start actually happening you know the animatronics are moving they're becoming alive they're interacting with their characters it becomes super goofy and super funny, something I can't wipe off. Like, goofy and funny moments in horror movies are absolutely no problem at all. It happens all the time, like with Freddy and Jason. The issue is that they know when to be serious. There's goofy moments in Freddy and Jason, but the thing is, is that they keep the horror aspect. And throughout FNAF, I just didn't feel any horror going on, I think. 
I think that was just lost. Also, there wasn't that many jump scares, which I'm very thankful of. I'm not a person who enjoys jump scares. I enjoy atmosphere. It's just that there was no atmosphere. Like, I feel like FNAF is one of those movies that probably needed the jump scares because there was just nothing going on. Like, when the animatronics start to kill, how am I supposed to take this seriously when they're going, but the dum 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 dum? <laughs> How do I take it serious? And then Vanessa randomly turning against Mike when Abby gets like hurt. She just turns like, she, her character does like a 180 and she's like, no, you shouldn't be here and I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Like, what the fuck? Bring Trap's whole appearance. It wasn't menacing. It was very, it was very nice to see the suit in action, but you know, the lines of dialogue. It wasn't the actor's fault. It was not the actor's fault at all. It was just that like, it was so fucking goofy. I could not stop laughing. Yeah, this movie is goofy as fuck. But the thing is like, I'm very happy it was made. Like I'm happy this video game movie got made and that it was uh, a, a, almost a homage to fans. Like, I think that's absolutely beautiful. It's just that like, I don't think you need to sacrifice the movie being good in order to please the fans as well. But anyway, this movie is actually gonna be a three out of 10 for me. I didn't really see too much value in this movie. Like, I saw it once and I think that's all I really need to see it. Like, I, I hope it does well at the box office. Like, I don't wish malice on any movie. When I like talk bad or talk good about a movie, I'm just giving my honest thoughts and I, I don't mean for anything to get like, I don't know, taken badly or anything like that. If you enjoy the movie, you enjoy the movie. That's absolutely fine. Just be more reasonable with the people who don't like this movie, who actually have very solid critiques of the movie. Like, they're not bullshitting you. They're telling you how you feel. The score doesn't really matter. What matters is their critiques, what they're actually saying about the movie. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm... Why am I wearing cat ears? Like, I get it's Halloween, and I said I wanted to do something for Halloween, because I never do anything for Halloween. But these cat ears, they're not doing it. This life is not for me, bro.